1875, it was an Indian word derived from the speech of an aboriginal tribe. The word Utah is of Egyptian origin, belongs to the hieroglyphic characters of ancient speech, signifies the eye, sacred in the name of Osiris, sun, source of light. The query propounded by our inquiring correspondent is not an uncommon one. Many persons have put the same question to their own minds, and the, and the suppositions have been that it was an Indian word derived from the speech of an aboriginal tribe of that region now known as Utah. But the word Utah is of Egyptian origin. Now, Utah, again, I'm not going to um, go too far into the phonetics. Um, I have tons of threads on this, and I've covered it before. But Utah, Utah, Ute, Y, U, J's, Utah. In not only Egyptian, Phoenician, but several different Hebraic dialects that existed amongst the Indians, Utah was Judah. Okay. And after this episode, I might repost some of these articles, but lions, African lions, were still alive and being hunted in Arizona and Utah. Lions existed. The oldest lion. Uh, Skeletons exist here in America. The oldest lions. A lions originated here in America. The Lion of Judah. The Dead Sea. The Sea of Galilee. The Jordan River. These Shriners are making their pilgrimage to Mecca, which is Salt Lake City. The word Utah is of Egyptian origin and belongs to the hieroglyphic characters of the most ancient speech. And from thence it was engrafted upon the Aramaic. Okay, the Aramaic, we're going to come back to the Mohammedans of Utah. The Aramaic, the Canaanite, or the Phoenician dialects. Yeah, really important. We've been talking about the Phoenicians. They were visiting California. Not visiting, I would say running the show. So it was to the Aramaic, the Canaanite, and the Phoenician, as well as the Egyptian. We've covered Egyptian temples all over California and all over Arizona. We're going to cover a few more here. The dialects and through them were introduced into the Hebrew. Right. Introduced into the Hebrew. Hebrew came last. Now, um, again, why it's important to, you know, follow what I do on Twitter, I've posted for years. That's one of my oldest um, posts is talking about the Sephardic element of the Hebraic, the block Hebrew that existed amongst the Indians. Not only that, but some of the Mohammedan, Aramaic, and um, Hebraic or, you know, Jewish um um, tendencies and language that these Indians shared. The, the, it's a, not a deniable element. The Mormons said the Indians of the Southwest were Hebraic, were Hebrews. And some would even go as far as to say that some of these Indian tribes were part of the lost tribes. And I don't think there's any denying that. Um, their history Many of them talk about a great deluge. Um, the Ute, the Paiute, um, Indians along the Zunis, some of the southern Utah, northern Arizona tribes. Um, they tell a narrative that a flood washed the land and that the kings, whomever they may be, built pyramids in case there was another flood. And that the pyramids were a sort of vault. And as I've discussed before, pyramids were built on top of high plateaus, and they were just doorways um, into the subterranean worlds. So they carved out mountains, or the mountains were already structures that were turned into mountain-looking. Who knows which came after which? And this all ties into it. In the sacred total writings of the ancient Egyptians, the word Utah signifies the eye. And as much as a sacred character in the name of the great deity of the Egyptians, Osiris, meaning the strong, the almighty, the most high, Osiris, the sun, the most high. And further this, the sun was the material representative and object of worship. And this connection then, Utah, the eye, stood as signifying the source of light, illumination. And as such, the learned men of the Mormons who studied of the antique are well known, have probably given to their new and far off territory the name Utah. This is, we don't want to get hung up on thinking this. 
this this territory was called Utah long, long, long before. Very long before. Here's a little reference. Again, this U's and T's and H's, but you can see a lot of it here. To strong the Almighty, just like it was saying. You got Utah, 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 Utah. To be strong, Utah, part of the same pronunciation, the whole sound intact, mighty. You got eyes, Utah, the Tau, um, and the hieroglyphic representation of it. 